my name is Tristan McKenzie, and I'm going to present to you my research on Fukushima-derived atmospheric fallout in the Hawaiian Islands. This project was funded by the University of Hawaii at Manoa's Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program and supervised by Dr. Henrietta Dulai. On March 11, 2011, several reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant experienced a partial meltdown and resulted in the atmospheric release of several radionuclides, including iodine-131, cesium-134, and cesium-137. These isotopes were detected in low quantities about a week later in atmospheric masses over Hawaii by EPA's RADnet system and in milk on the island of Hawaii. This research aims to quantify the fallout from the Fukushima disaster in Hawaii, as well as compare Fukushima-derived fallout to fallout from nuclear weapons testing, which has been previously characterized by Malcolm Cox in the 1980s. Because cesium is primarily deposited by means of wet deposition, we collected samples along precipitation gradients on the islands of Oahu and the Big Island, as outlined by the Hawaii Rainfall Atlas. We collected mushrooms at soils. We collected mushrooms because they preferentially uptake cesium and have proven useful indicators in the past of low amounts of ra radioactivity. Mushroom species, however, have differing bioaccumulation rates and thus cannot accurately quantify fallout amounts but are useful to detect the presence or absence of fallout. We also collected soils in the same locations as mushrooms, as well as the locations Cox collected in order to quantify and compare the amount deposited. All samples were homogenized and analyzed by gamma spectroscopy. Fukushima derived cesium was differentiated from historical fallout on the basis that cesium-134 and 137 from Fukushima were released in a near 1 to 1 ratio and that cesium-134 has a comparatively shorter half-life of about 2 years compared to cesium-137's half-life of about 30 years. All radioactivities were decay corrected to March 20, 2011, the date of the highest levels of Fukushima derived radioactivity that were detected by EPA's RADnet program in Hawaii. On to the results from Oahu. Here are the locations of mushroom and soil sampling on Oahu. The color locations correspond to radioactivities in becquerels per kilogram shown on the graphs. The top graph is for soils and the bottom one is for mushrooms. Here we have two graphs with March 2011 precipitation in millimeters on the x-axis and then cesium-137 and 134 activities on the y-axis. Cesium-134 was below the detection limit in most soils and some of the mushrooms. There are two notable transects, the Manoa and Kahana transects, which presented interesting results. While the Windward Ka'ana Valley did not have the trends we expected, our results show that the Manoa Valley did show a positive correlation between precipitation and cesium inventories in soil. In the Manoa Valley, up to 1.6 kilograms or becquerels per kilogram of cesium-134 was detected. Cesium-137 minus 134 activities are assumed to not be historical and not Fukushima-derived. Cesium levels detected by previous research on soils by Cox were then decay corrected to March 2011 and compared to the values found post Fukushima for the study. Cesium-134, noted by the green triangles, is representative of Fukushima-derived fallout. The cesium-134 found by this study was consistent with the decay corrected activities found by Cox, further demonstrating the Fukushima-derived fallout is small in comparison to historical fallout. We also looked at beryllium-7, a naturally occurring radionuclide that behaves similarly to cesium in that it preferentially falls out in the form of rainfall. As you can see from the graph, it shows a similar trend to that of cesium, thus validating our method. Currently, we are conducting ongoing research on the Big Island of Hawaii. Mushrooms have already indicated higher levels of cesium activity on the Big Island, which in general, uh, the island in general was subject to higher levels of rainfall than Oahu. We are currently analyzing the soils and working to compare these results to Oahu in previous research. In conclusion, Fukushima-derived fallout has been confirmed in mushrooms and soils on, in Hawaii, but is very low. Mushrooms were fantastic indicators of fallout locations, but soils were necessary to accurately quantify the amount deposited. Cesium activities between mushrooms and soils were not well correlated, but this is as expected given different, differing bioaccumulation rates between mushroom species. Furthermore, we have confirmed that radioactivity from Fukushima derived cesium is much lower than that originating from historical nuclear weapons testing. Thank you for your time.